the Business Excellence Awards. Uh, our chair of our uh, PR committee and membership committee is Mr. Greg French. So I'd ask Greg to step step forward, please, and uh, and begin this this part of our evening. Thank you for the introduction, Jason. So uh, this is the Chamber's 8th Annual Business Excellence Awards, and I'd like to thank you all for attending this evening. Uh, we're here to honor outstanding local businesses and community people. Now, I'll start with the biggest awards, I guess, the Business and Small Business of the Year Awards. Now, they recognize members of the Clarenville Area Chamber of Commerce that have demonstrated a continued passion for excellence and promoting the advancement of responsible business leadership in our community. Now, Business of the Year candidates consist of 10 or more employees, and Small Business of the Year candidates consist of nine or fewer employees. And each business must show entrepreneurship and business leadership, be motivated towards sales growth, show productivity and quality improvements, show marketing and promotional achievements, provide excellent customer service and satisfaction, uh, show excellence in employee relations and demonstrate good business, e business ethics, support local suppliers, recognize success in quality and delivery of service, show a record of community service and involvement, demonstrate business age-friendly practices, show business innovation, provide environmental stewardship, and be a member in good standing. So as you can see, it's a fairly demanding <coughs> set of qualifications to even be nominated for this. So I'll list off nominees for Small Business of the Year first. And the nominees we had were Trinity Bake Shop, Diversions Computer Center, and Comfort and Class Boutique. Now, I'd like to call on Minister Wiseman to come forward because we'll be handing out the certificates, and he's brought one. We have one from uh, Judy Foote, and we have one on behalf of the Chamber. Now, quick story here, because the Chamber ordinarily does give out a little award statue to, uh, to our winners, and this year, due to unforeseen weather events, they're stuck somewhere in the Maritimes. <laughs> but we will provide you a nice certificate to uh, redeem for a statue as soon as they become available. <laughs> so, our winner for Small Business of the Year is Diversions Computer Center. So while Minister Wiseman is getting the certificates ready, I'll tell the story of Diversions. Diversions Entertainment was formed in 2004 by Lee and Sherry Warren as a cyber cafe and game center and has evolved over the years to become a successful full-service technology company. From 2004 to 2006, Diversion Cyber Cafe served coffee and treats to clients looking for internet access in the community and an entertainment experience for those looking for a diversion. With eight computers, a big screen console lo lounge, and six TV console stations, Diversions was the place for gaming in the Clarenville area. It was common to drop by in the evenings and on weekends and to see a packed house of kids and young adults engrossed in multiplayer competitions. That was like fun. In 2007, Diversions Computer Center was established with an initial focus on retail computer and component sales, which operated initially with the game center and cafe. Now, later that year, Diversions stopped operating as a game center and focused entirely on its computer sales and service business. And Lee then joined the business full-time as owner and operator. Their initial focus was on computer retail and in-store PC repair, and this was a successful venture. Now, Diversion's com uh, computer center provided PC computer rebuilds, components, software, and accessory sales. They provided uh, repairs to residential customers, but there was also a significant demand for commercial services to business through the Clarenville area. So demand for those services increased, and Lee had to hire a uh, full-time retail and technical person to look after the store while he attended to on-site on calls. 
In 2009, their first service contract was signed with a local not-for-profit looking for regular maintenance on their server and computer workstations. Now, as a bid contract, Lee realized that there were many other business clients who would appreciate this sort of service, and so he began his IT services for various companies. By 2011, they had added four more contracts, and today they service over a dozen businesses within the community. So, this is the point at which I would have called upon you, but uh, this is my first year doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but we'd like to congratulate Lee once more. <laughs> so for Large Business of the Year, our nominees are Subsea Imaging, Pizza Delight, and The Lakeside at Thorburn. And the winner of this year's Business of the Year award goes to the Lakeside at Thorburn. Now, the Lakeside at Thorburn first opened in January 2010 when Maxine and Neil Daw and their family purchased what used to be Tucker's Resort. Business is located on the Trans Canada Highway at Thorburn Lake, about 20 kilometers west of Clarenville. Now, their business thrives on catering to families year round. There are 106 campsites nestled in both wooded and open areas. During the summer, there are many amenities they offer, which include two playground areas, a 200-foot sandy beach, a cookhouse on the beach with a fire pit, two enclosed swimming pools, an outdoor hot tub, an eight-passenger jet boat, go-karts, pedal boats, a land train, a 10-room motel, a 12-bunk loft, and a takeout or eat-in restaurant. Well, uh, Neil, I guess that's the best uh, advertisement I can give you there. <laughs> so, during special occasions, there are themed weekends where campers are encouraged to do things such as decorate their sites and take part in sports tournaments. Children can also participate in craft days, scavenger hunts, and other organized outdoor fun that is uh, included with their stay. And guests are treated with uh, such things as fireworks and campfires. And during the winter, they're open and they offer snowmobile rentals and guided tours, which include boil ups on the trail or a stop over at the trailside restaurant. And during our winter festival, they hold an ice fishing derby, sliding, skating, and snowmobile rides. During the Town of Clarenville Summer Festival, they offer a family fun day. Now, Maxine and Neil are always looking for new and exciting activities to offer their customers. And right now, they're working on an animal museum and more water attractions for the near future. With that, Mr. Wiseman. designed to recognize an individual or a community support group that exemplifies outstanding community service. Now the criteria for the Community Cares Award includes, but is not limited to, that the individual or group must be associated with the chamber member. They can be an employer or an employee of a member organization or business that demonstrates significant community service, and they exhibit outstanding support for the Clarenville area through its donation of time, staff, financial support, or in-kind resources. Now, the nominees this year are Ryan Power, Habitat for Humanity Clarenville, and the 2014 Winter Games Committee. Now, the winner of the uh, Community Cares Award for this year goes to the 2014 Winter Games Committee. Now, by all accounts, the 2014 Winter Games were a tremendous success. We had over 1,400 athletes, coaches, managers, and officials attending the Games, plus many parents, media, and dignitaries. The, com the committee, chaired by Greg Pittman, was composed of 19 community representatives and three ex officio members. The committee created five jobs for employees during the community during the event, and throughout the event there were over 500 volunteers from our region. The committee created various requests for proposals, contests, an athlete handbook, a volunteer handbook, sponsorship package, and other materials from scratch. The committee's budget for the games was close to $800,000, plus several hundred thousand dollars more of in-kind contributions, and the majority of that money was spent right here in Clarenville. And we, we especially note that the 
community did not go, or the uh, committee did not go over budget. And in fact, there was a surplus from the games that has made uh, made its way into donations, such as defibrillators for our local schools. Now, in addition, the committee's budget, uh, they were also able to obtain a special assistance grant of three hundred thousand dollars to the town of Clarenville to buy various things for the town, including uh, building a media booth at the event center. Oh. <laughs> Pardon me, just have a little <laughs> sight problem there. Uh, including building a media booth at the event center, upgrading our uh, cross-country ski trails, and building a timing hut. Uh, purchasing sta six state-of-the-art portable snow guns for the White Hills, and purchasing equipment such as uh, ta table tennis tables, and timing equipment for our uh, alpine and Nordic racing, just to name a few. In addition, a number of... Uh, a lot of time and energy was spent making necessary improvements, upgrades and repairs to our local schools with help of the school district, such as uh, revamping the showers, replacing the score clocks, and installing new lights. The games have left a tremendous legacy on our schools and our community. In addition to the direct money flowing into the community, the value of the media attention focused on our town was priceless. The opening and closing ceremonies were broadcast live on television, on Eastlink TV, and in addition there were four nightly shows highlighting the games and the events which showcased our town. And uh, in addition, CBC and NTV and transcontinental media had plenty of stories about the games which were published uh, province-wide, including in the Telegram and all the regional papers. Now, another fantastic legacy piece of the games was uh, the opportunity for 164 host athletes to participate. Now this was a great opportunity for them to attend the opening and closing ceremonies and to compete with athletes from across the province. It was a great opportunity to be part of the experience for our local participants. It was a proud moment for the host committee when it was announced that the host region had won the Sport NL Trophy as the most improved region. Now this happened thanks to a lot of work by a lot of people. They're proud for the host region which won the Lieutenant Governor's Trophy for uh, the region which demonstrated the, the overall spirit of friendly competition and sportsmanship which we exhibited. The award says a lot about our host athletes and about our town in general. And last but not least, an intangible legacy of the Games is the feeling of community pride that we're all left with. We feel this from knowing our small town, one of the smallest ever to host the Games, might I add, can not only host the Games, but set a standard which future host communities will strive to meet. And with that, I'd like to call upon uh, the Honorable Ross Wiseman to present the awards to, uh, I suppose, to the Chairman of the Committee, Mr. Yes. Greg Pittman. stand up just to recognize you all spent over two years planning for I think you should stand up and some here today. You're always <laughs> <laughs>